675. He's going to take a shot at this with a nothing hand. 675 to go. Yeah, this is his second WPT final table. Last time he was here, he finished sixth. Tonight he said he's going for it, doesn't care. Raises with junk here. James out. Muckle, though, with ace five, will make this call. Here come the first three. King eight five, rainbow. Muckle picking up fives there. He's going to check. Yeah, he's got the bottom pair. Eric checks right behind him. A little surprised he wouldn't make a continuation bet there. Now a king comes off to pair the board. And again, Muckle checks. One million. And all of a sudden, Eric's going to get busy here. And really busy with a $1 million bet. Now, if you're sitting in Muckle's seat, you're saying, wouldn't this guy bet a pair, any kind of pair on the flop? I think he would have, so I'm going to call him with my bottom pair. Well, his instincts are right so far. He's making this call. Going down to the river, and it's another king. Muckle's got to like that card. Well, Muckle's got a full house, but it's bottom full house. And look at this. He's going to make a defensive bet, as we say, a blocker bet of 400000 here into a pot that's got over $3.5 in it. If you're sitting in Eric's seat, you're saying, you know this guy doesn't have much. Doesn't want me to bet at him. 2.4. Wow. So I am going to bet at him. $2 million more. $2.4 million now the bet. You see people standing up now. A lot of money going in there. Eric fighting for this pot. You have Eric. Well, Muckle still puzzled. Well, I totally agree with Muckle's thought process here. It doesn't make sense why the guy didn't bet the flop, and now all of a sudden he's going crazy. Well, this would be a great nice call, and he's going to yeah, make the great call. call. He's gone with his gut instincts. It didn't make sense to him, so he made the call, and a good one it was by Muckle Pahuja. He extends his chip lead. He worked the call of the air right there.